Well, hello there, everyone. We are starting again today off late. It is 5.20 p.m. I had my exam this morning. It actually, for not getting a lot of sleep and feeling like not good, it went pretty well. So, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I feel a little bit better. My head still hurts and I'm kind of like out of it, but feeling a lot better. Got uh, some rest, did some stuff. Um, I'm editing, well actually I just edited the vlog and it is now exporting and then I will upload it. I want to get back to starting to um, edit the night before. I don't know, I guess it just depends on the day and like what I'm doing, like how much homework I have if I have an exam, like obviously that comes first, school, it's, school comes first before vlogging and DG comes first before vlogging and so I kind of have to put y'all to the side a little bit sometimes, but you are part of my life and I want to keep you guys part of my life for at least my freshman year of college. So, um, so we're at my closet right now and I got this really cute top from H&M and it's like this black, it's like totally see-through. So I would, I'd wear like a black cami underneath, but like it's long sleeved and it has these little like... I don't know what you call those little like flowers at the bottom and the sleeves are like really wide at the end like they're totally like some like old school 70s it's so cute and then I got this other top where'd you go oh this one is just a black this pretty black sweater from Target and then it has lace at the bottom it's really pretty I love lace I don't know I'm a big lace person I always loved how lace looked on um I don't know I have like lacy tops here like lace, I'm kind of old school when it comes to fashion. Sometimes I like vintage. My hand just hit the corner, and that's what stopped you guys. Um, I kind of like vintagey kind of clothing. Oh my! God. <gasps> that's what I want to do this weekend is go thrifting. Okay, I want to go thrifting. It's so fun because you can get like all these cool. Oh, here's a dress I got from the thrift store that I wore on a cruise in 20 the summer of 2013. It's a black velvet dress, and this is like the top, and then it comes out on the sides. It's not that narrow. It, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Okay, here we go. It like, it comes out on the sides, so it's not like super narrow. And then it's just, it's short, so I don't wear it that often. It's like velvet, and on the back it has these like ruffles and these two buttons up top. What brand is this? It probably is something I don't even know. Oh, it's INC, like that old company. But yeah, and it's a petite. That's why. And I'm like five. I'm five six, so like, I can fit into petite stuff because I'm pretty tiny. But like, I'm five six, so like, it's probably really short. But yeah, thrifting. I feel like there's something else in the thrift store. Oh, this. Well, okay, this is from the thrift store. This is Steve's. This is my dad's that he wore back when I was like a baby, and I like to wear it with my brown boots that are like back there. And leggings because I don't know it's cute and it, it's really comfy so I'm actually kind of excited it's still so hot here um obviously I'm in Texas so it's really hot but I'm really excited for like the winter months and to get like a cute DG jacket and put on my boots and wear a scarf because I mean I'm from the north so like fall was like the epitome for Connecticut like it's beautiful in the fall there like it's fall there right now it feels like summer here because it's so hot, but it's definitely getting into fall, like, up in Connecticut, and the leaves are changing, but it kind of looks... I mean, let's, let's take a look out my window. I never open these. Oh, well, it's kind of shady right now, but it's still very, like, I don't know, summery. Like, you can... It feels like August still. Anyway, I have a nice pile of tissues. Let me throw those away. Because I've been sneezing and dying. And, yeah. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. I don't know if it's going to work, but I saw it and I couldn't pass up because I'm like one of those people who like really likes, I don't know, I don't really, I don't even know where it's going to be. I like a lot of medical stuff. It's not really medical stuff. It's called Bumps and Bruises and it's this little like stick and it's for kids or whatever, which I'm pretty much a child. I mean, I act like one sometimes. Not in like an immature way, but like, I don't know, I'm kind, I'm like kid hearted and like to color and do fun things, um, but it's supposed to put it on. It's like, so if you get like a bug bite or um, have a bruise, 
and okay first of all i bruise really easy i could bruise like a prune so like i was planning on using this like to honor bruise that really hurts like i have one on my elbow it's still there Whoa, that's a bad angle yeah i have a bruise on my elbow so i'm trying to think what it smells like it's like all natural stuff but we're gonna put this on and see if it works because i have a lot of bruises and they're really sensitive and i'm like ow I okay i don't know if you could see this but there's a cockroach living in my closet yeah that's disgusting there's multiple cockroaches in this dorm and i'm like oh it's so gross i don't like it oh i just got out of the shower <laughs> that would explain this lovely look but yeah there's cockroaches and i'm not loving it my hair is officially the longest it's ever been in my entire life like that's crazy my hair's always been like a little past shoulder length, but now it's like halfway down my back. And everyone's probably like, you have really short hair, Callie. No, this is so long. Okay, so I'm gonna end the vlog for tonight. It's late and yeah, I'm tired and I wanna go to bed. Um, it's actually funny because I don't know why I keep, I don't know why I look away from the camera when I talk. Is that weird? Okay, I'm gonna look straight at you. Okay, I don't know why. Today's been like a really reflective day for me. I feel like I learned a lot about myself today and I just kind of took a day. And I mean, I went to school and like did homework and took an exam, but really reflected on my life and I think personally grew today as a, personally grew today as a person. And I don't know. It's just one of those days where you like, things come full circle and you kind of realize things you didn't realize before. And it's I had just one of those days. Okay, so we're going to move on to the quote. And we're going to flip through our little book. Okay, this says, The world is our, oh, is your oyster. Oh, I don't think I've ever realized and read all this stuff. Oyster names. Okay, that's one. I always feel like the second one's better, so let's see. Just watch us get like a really not good second one. Let's just close my eyes and open. You are free to fly. Oh, and then it, butterfly names. Okay, we're gonna start looking at these too, because that's cool. You are free to fly. It's so funny, I feel like I can relate everything that I get in this book to like what I'm feeling right now. Like flying to me was like always one of those like what do you want if you had one superpower, what would you be? What would you want your superpower to be? And I was always like, I wanna fly, like that'd be so awesome. And um but flying has so many different meanings. For me, flying is going out into the world and finding yourself, meeting new people. Flying for me is vlogging. I feel like I'm on top of the world and just soaring when I vlog. I don't, it's probably been one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. And I know when I'm 30 years old and I'm married and I have children that I'm gonna look back on these and laugh and just be so thankful that I did this and that how many lessons that I learned and how much I've grown as a person because you change every second of the day like I'm not the same person I was six seconds ago because <laughs> I'm six seconds older get it no okay well yeah so we just fly soar um I wrote in Brianna's graduation card this is gonna be real testy if Brianna watches the vlogs so Brianna tweet me or text me or call me if you <laughs> are watching this but I wrote on her graduation card because I heard this. Okay, so Courtney Smith Pope, one of my favorite cheerleading coaches of all time, I know I'm like going on a tangent right now, was like, she was talking about a senior, one of her seniors, and she's like, I just want you to take life by the handlebars and just go. And I just love that like saying, it's just like, grab life by the handlebars and just go. And I tried writing that on Brianna's graduation card, but I said sore. And so there's a video of her reading it it's like and it's like I don't even know it's just like I want you to grab life by the handle bars and soar and she's like what and in my head I'm going wait a minute that sounds like ET or something but anyway 
I want everyone to go fly today, whatever your definition of flying is. Um, if you want to jump, and that be, oh no, that was stupid. Don't jump. Well, you can jump for joy, but <laughs> whatever you want to do to fly in your own way, do it. That's your goal for today is to go fly. All right, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Good night.